How does silence fit in this intellectual framework? And how is silence similar to fasting? Do stay tuned to find out more about silence as an intellectual need. Hi, this is Nirmala Shekhar, a coach and a body talk practitioner from Singapore, and we are exploring a map of self-care. Let's start with the process of digestion. We all know that if we ate from morning till night, forget the weight, our digestive system would collapse. Digestive system works well when we give it proper breaks. And if we practice fasting of any kind, small periods, long periods, we know that it is good for the digestive system. Why is it good for the digestive system? Because the digestive process consumes a lot of energy. In fact, depending on the food we eat, our digestive process may be the most energy intensive process in our body. And we need to give our digestive system a break so that it functions well and also so that it can repair itself, heal itself for functioning optimally in the future. And all of this takes place when we give it the required break. When we eat food, it is not the food that gives us nutrition. It is the breaking down of the food into smaller particles. It is the process of digestion where we assimilate the nutrients, absorb the nutrients from the food and then discard what is not needed. That entire process is what provides our body with the needed nutrients. Now let's look at our senses, our intellect. Our senses bring us information and from birth we are bombarded with information on all our sensory organs, eyes, ears, nose, taste, smell, touch. Every part of our body is bombarded with information non-stop. And children learn to deal with this cacophony of noise, cacophony of inputs, by making some inputs more important and the other inputs less important. As adults, all of us would have experienced moments when children have totally tuned us out. That is because at that point in time, they want to prioritize what is the input that they are going to give attention to. The inputs that a sense organ receives is not as important as what we make of that inputs. Just like the digestion. It's not the food. It is the absorbing of the nutrients from the food that is important. So too, in our intellect, it is not the information coming in from all the sources that is important. It is what we do with that information that is important. They say we perceive the world as we are. Most of our perceptions are based on what we do with the inputs that we receive. What do we do with the information that we receive? And when we are constantly under onslaught of all this information, there is no time to digest the information we are receiving. So it still remains raw, unprocessed information, not of much value to us. We need to take time off from this inputs so that we can start digesting the information, assimilating the information, and then discarding the irrelevant information. And all of that process works when we give our senses a break, when we give our senses moments of silence. And that silence can be in any form. It can just be sitting lazily, letting the world go by. 
it can be spending time with nature it can be time spent meditating using mindfulness visualization it can be just time spent reflecting any or all of these forms of silence are important and when we use them through the day it becomes easier for our minds to then take the information that has been received process it and make something useful out of that and once we become good at practicing silence we don't need external silence anymore we can create internal silence in any environment with practice that becomes possible so what we are looking for is not absolute physical silence external silence what we are looking for is internal silence internal silence in any time any place when i started putting together this content i just went with my intuition to pick the topics and the titles of the topics, the framework for the map of self-care. And then I sat with myself to find out what I wanted to talk about. I did not use Google. I don't use Google unless I'm looking for a quote uh, for any of the content. I'm just sitting with myself in silence as I explore what is coming up from within me. And when I sit in silence, I'm amazed at the insights that are coming up from within me. I didn't even know I had these insights because I never spent time reflecting on these topics before. And that's the power of silence. All the information that we have fed our minds all these years is sitting there waiting for us to reflect on. Give it the moments of silence so that it can give you the insights that we are looking for with the insights then we can use our logical mind to present it and organize it in a beautiful way in the last video we talked about intuition as a intellectual need silence is very crucial for us to be able to access our intuition and to make sense of the intuition so both intuition and silence go hand in hand as an important part of the thinking process of our thinking world. How have you used silence in your thinking process? And by using silence, what benefit have you found? What added advantage have you got by using silence? Do share in the comments. This is Nirmala Shekha signing off. Bye-bye. Namaste. Do subscribe and hit the bell button for more weekly content on self-care. And if you want even more actionable content on self-care, do join me in the Facebook group for weekly lives, discussions, and more tips.